Good afternoon. All right. Final day of Champions Handbook here and Link to the Ran uh, Link to the Fast Randomizer Invitational League. Got quite the matchup for you here today. Uh, facing off and representing Maltabashin is Faker Jr. Facing off versus Matt7898, representing the perfect unadulterated gaming squad. Uh, two excellent runners. Almost sees a, a sense of, well, we got some Dark Link versus Dark Pug. Let's gonna see who in this case is actually gonna be the champion. Uh, I am Claire Mouse. Uh, joined with me is one of the main co-founders of the mode, Gem. Tracking for us, as of course, uh, the always very <laughs> uh, amazing Iker, uh, clicking all the buttons. It's gonna be a great show. It's gonna be a great time. Gem, how's it going? How has this mode been treating you so far? Hello. Um, well, I'm about to have my race later, um, but in the two practice races I did, it's, it's been fun. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yes. far, yeah. So I, I would say maybe outside of a couple of uh, outliers, the mode has actually been, you know, pretty, pretty quick, right? Uh, so as we, so as for for those who maybe have been watching, I guess like some of the races earlier this week, it is uh, technically it can be actually like a reduced dungeon mode. All right, we're starting at our house. We've got money out the wazoo. That's that's great because uh, one of the goals, presumably, actually is going to be a pyramid fairy triforce piece that we can go get. So remember, money, money is always important in this game. Yeah, and now we already have enough money for both pod and uh, pyramid fairy. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, and actually, yes, yeah, so, uh, notably so. Uh, so we actually do see, of course, uh, I would expect nothing less if uh, this was a mode that you were involved creating, that we have starting boots and sword. Uh, so uh, also notably, both runners here are doing the uncle starts. Uh, how do you feel about this this uh, this opening? This is probably like the one mode, well, the one open mode where going to uncle is good at the start. Because you just have boots, you have sword, so might as well just risk escape. Mm -hmm. It's like just you know, there's there's no reason to go to Aga unless you have to do it for Darkwood Access later, because it's not a key sanity mode and um, yeah, it's just yeah you can just like get all the stuff before CAC and you don't really often anything, so it's okay. kind of good too. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So actually, you mentioned Aga. So like, I mean, do you think it might be worthwhile to go check Lumberjack and do like a Sang Star first before coming to Escape? You know what? Okay, we have a lamp already in in Escape. Not 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 quite vanilla, uh, but it, it is pretty dang close to its vanilla location. <laughs> uh. What are your thoughts on just doing Aga blind here if they find uh, the rest? Uh, of oh my gosh, dude! If we can get <laughs> if we can get a pearl uh, or or another or another uh, not pearl a cape or another sword, uh, I mean I'm all for it. <laughs> I don't know how these guys feel though with the three hearts going in. I sure I'm sure that we they're more than capable of it physically uh, and technically, but maybe maybe from a routing perspective there might be too much left in the light bulb so far. Um, yeah, I think. It's like this start, I think, um, it's something that people, like, came to, or, like, started, um, adjusting to, like, over time. Um, I think at the start we saw many people just do, like, regular Sang start or whatever and then go to CAG. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yeah, as, as more people played this mode, I think more people realize that this start is actually pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so I don't think it's so right. So I don't think we found a small key yet. Uh, if this is not a small key, would you go for Dark Cross? You just leave. It looks like Matt's leaving. Yeah, it's pretty likely you're just gonna find the glove and then can do back of escape. And I think we haven't found the map either. Yeah, so yeah, that's correct. Okay, all right. Well, it looks that's like... not pretty good that we don't have to do Dark Cross. Mm -hmm. But yeah, well, uh... as you were about to say, I think uh, Faker Junior is definitely going to Dark Cross. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Like if he if he finds the key, it's like sort of okay because then he can at least go to the back and get it right now. And if there's a glove in the back, it might even be required. Um, just gonna be disappointing if all that's in Dark Cross is the map. Yeah, yeah. And actually, looking at Matt doing Sang Stars, actually, I didn't even think about this because right. So as you as you as you kind of mentioned before, like we haven't had a key. We also haven't found the map. Uh, so those are actually two very viable weapons that are either in the back of Escape or in Dark Cross for that matter. Uh, and if either one of them are in Dark Cross, right, like. Uh, you know, probably in this case it could be a little bit of a time save, it, uh, it, you know, at least for Matt, because he just kind of saved the point. We did, because we didn't, we got eyes uh, on the Sank item, that was uh, 10 arrows, but in this case we got more money, uh, that actually might be potentially good for Faker Jr. If there's no other kind of like money yeah. source. <laughs> was, that a, was that a pearl? Is that what? Yes. <laughs> is that what we saw? 
<laughs> All right. Okay. Well, uh, Iker, and it looks like the rest of our chat. Uh, speaking of Aga, and this. So, do you want to do you want to amend your uh, your analysis on the opening here, <laughs> uh, for uh, maybe for doing escape? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you delay uh, escape now, then you well. It's it's a weird situation because the lamp was an escape, so that's actually true. Yeah, yeah. Combo oh, aga yeah. and escape, especially with the mirror in hand. Mm -hmm. um, but like without the lamp, you might delay escape for a while. When yeah, you're that's also very true. The lamp is just right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I see, well, I mean, well, yeah, right. So like presumably, like you will do like the front of escape, you know, before so like you know heading up to aga. But yeah, and, but like the point is, is that you probably would try to put off the entire area until you found something that you actually could do something mm -hmm. with aga. Yeah, very very yeah. valid point. Yeah, so you might get baited into like an unclearable eastern or something and just mm -hmm. waste a bunch of time. Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely a good point. I am very glad, by the way, to see both runners, uh, you know, for, for what it's worth. We did get Aga or Lumberjack checks on both Matt and Faker Jr. side. Uh, you know, while like, you know, you can save some time, you know, uh, not checking Lumberjack, you can try to cut a quarter. We have certainly seen in a lot of Boots sword start modes <laughs> that uh, that corner sometimes is uh, very, very dangerous to, to cut. As in, you, know, you can get uh, quite burned quite easily by having a required item or seemingly required item, which is in this case of Pearl. We also found a glove, looks like in Blind Side Out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Matt is gonna be able to. Well, do Dark Cross from the back, I guess, because there's an item there. But he will definitely take back off escape that way. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Actually, uh, Faker Jr. Or Geshi, actually farming one extra bomb coming in here for Kakariko. It turns out, though, it looks like the there were also bombs in the well and presumably blind side out. Matt's got a couple extra. Oh, maybe he maybe just didn't see him where he picked it up. No, it looks like he got another uh, three drop somewhere. From okay, okay. It's, it's interesting that Faker Jr. bothered. Um, because right now he has um, three bombs, which is enough for everything in Kak, and he also had... Well, as he went into yeah, like 620 rupees, so if you count um, like the rupees he's gonna pick up in Vine Satir and in the well, um, it's mm -hmm. gonna put him at 650, which is enough to afford Bottle Vendor, Zora, and also buy bombs if he really needs to. So, farming that one extra bomb sort of is a waste of, a a waste of time a little bit. But yeah, looks like there's just a bunch of small amounts of money in CAC. <laughs> Not enough to put Matt on Zora money yet, but he's likely gonna do Back of Escape before South Shore anyway. And then he'll do Dark Cross for his additional 300, so. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I said that's a good point. I didn't think about this. Ooh, alright. So, well, good thing we start with booze. We have a mystery big key on the library, which is. Okay, well... <laughs> What's for Swamp, not Mystery yeah. Mire? <laughs> you're right, you're right. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's... Oh, we actually did find, uh, you know, I Iker is uh, busily marking the big keys. Well, it looks like the other key we bought off of Bottom Ender was Skull Wiz, is that right? Yes. Yeah, great, great big keys. These are the ones yeah, that we I know. Really <laughs> <find>. <laughs> yeah, it's the ones that we definitely really want to go get. Actually, you know what? Uh, oh, look look at these... Oh, look at these chess turns, you know? I'm pretty sure Faker Jr. is winning this winning this <laughs> mini battle so far between himself and Matt. I don't think I've seen a single yeah, I, one on Matt's side. I'm quite disappointed in Matt because he has the emote, so why mm -hmm, isn't he doing it? That's true, him? yeah. All right, well, you know what? Okay, so we do know that it's an Agassiz. The only important one, according to Matt, is the chess turn out of uh, Aga Dark Mace, um, where in this case, uh, if you do a chess turn to the right, your light cone is like flashing on the right side. So you actually get a read uh, for potential enemy RNG. We, we have our Aga seed <laughs> a a entrance, by the way. <laughs> Got a nice Master Sword here in the back. Matt demonstrating that you can't key dash downwards. Thank you for the demo. <laughs> That's actually a good point. No bombos. Uh, Frederick is uh, more than happy to give up his key in this case. <laughs> Ooh, we are getting bullied here by the rest of his cousins. Actually, so, okay, so now that you're, if you're in mass position, or, I mean, maybe, I assume, I assume also probably soon to be uh, Faker Jr.'s position, you've got all of the Aga access, like, would you just go rush Aga at this point? Or you're gonna you know, maybe try and hold out for, like, better equipment, you know, maybe, like, a tempered sword or something? Yeah, I, I, a little bit more I think help. it makes sense to just clear out South Shore here. Okay. You basically have everything that you want for it, you have um, a mirror to speed up the dam, you have the money for Zora. Oh, look, speaking of yep. Zora, well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I don't see a reason to delay South Shore here. 
And you might get better equipment for the agar climb, as you said. Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, so I guess maybe like a temper sword, maybe like a fire rod. I, I guess like the ice, like we do have the ice rod, which is, you know, which is something that you're never probably really sad to see. Uh, I mean, it also might just be that turtle rock is a pendant, you know, in most situations, but I think a fire rod probably will also be like pretty good, right, for the tower. Yeah, for sure. What do you really want is fire rod or silvers, I guess. Those just make it really easy uh, so, and fast. Oh, right, right. Yeah, we got some, uh, yeah, we got some upgraded, uh, not the silver ball and chains, but the even, you know, as you said, the gold ball and chain guards, uh, certainly, <laughs> yes, are pretty, are, are pretty in endurable. Endurable. <laughs> they have, a, they have a lot of endurance in terms of, uh, they can take a lot of hits. <laughs> oh my gosh, speaking of Zora, though, like, okay, eh, oh, jeez, Oh, it looks okay, like we'll have well, tempered. Yeah. Well, yeah tempered well, is another well. one that makes it really fast and easy. <laughs> yeah, holy cow. All right, well, suddenly we're we're looking pretty comfy and and you know for what it's worth right uh for uh, the person who's more more familiar with uh the latter version of uh the the mode which is just champion hunt which is like the original triforce pieces but you don't have to beat ganon at the end uh of course for league we do have to beat ganon at the end uh i have been told especially maybe by ravis and vex uh from their one hour 40 seed yesterday that sword hunt is probably not the best thing to look forward to after you <laughs> finished up all the goals <laughs> So really glad yeah. to see in this case That's that everybody has tougher sword. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we have. Uh, but so, a good thing, by the way, we checked. Uh, we checked lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> so the smiths might actually help Faker Junior a lot. So, um, in his, like his, for, to him, going to the back of his cape right now is not very enticing actually because he knows there's the map into the small key back there. Um, so oh, right. I could see him yeah. skip it because it's like just one item and you already have ag access and dark world access now. Um, on the other hand, um, those mids also unlock King's Doom, so maybe that is more of an, a motivation to go to that area to check King's Doom and then go to back oh, in this game. Oh, you're right. You get a step Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, well, so we do have the mirror. Like, would you be tempted to like try and combo that with Graveyard Ledge as well? Like, just do like a North Dark not, World loop? Not really. Okay. Okay. You kind of wanna. <laughs> I know. I, I I like to keep um, Grey Village for the garbage cleanup. That is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grey Village. That's very fair. Mattress. That's very fair. That's very fair. Um, yeah. I'm actually a little bit surprised that both of them went to Hobo here. They both have uh, mirror and flippers, and they're both two Agas, so we can just do Hobo later with the mirror. Oh, good point. Good call. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely one of the best times to go do. do and of course, uh, you know, certainly looking at our tracker that Iker is doing, you know, a tremendous amount a job, like, keeping up to date. Uh, we also don't have the flute, so, you know, and presumably, right, like, we even if we start at the pyramid, like, we're not going to, like, we're not fluting to five, right? So if we start on the pyramid especially, like, that Hobo access entry is very convenient. Well, very is always, relatively speaking. <laughs> Decently convenient, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, okay, you know what, so I think your your point, though, uh, or your observation for... Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> guards, guards suck. Yeah, uh, for Figure Jr., uh, just realizing, um, for better or for worse, uh, in this case, to his probably disadvantage, is that there is only one item left in the back of escape. Probably not worth it. I mean, for all he knows, it's like 20 rupees or a hard piece, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we know from that side it's a sword that helps speed up, you know, uh, the Aga Tower climb, but... Um, yeah, at least it'll be, you know, put off for a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if he does it later with King's Tomb. Boy, he might as well do King's Tomb into picking up his pearl and then going to Kakariko from there. Yeah, exactly. Or well, the village, rather. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so this is one of the benefits of having an early mirror. I mean, the, the efficiency, uh, just, you know, from doing light world and dark world uh, combinations, I mean, just... Well, it's actually now not only just it was actually possible, but also just like uh, decreases the amount of time you have to spend basically in one area significantly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, All right. Well, Faker, we've got mm -hmm. Faker going mm -hmm. through Aga Tower here. He's gonna be slower than Matt. Yeah. Because he's one sword down, but still making very fast progress. I'm I'm really disappointed that we don't have the hook shot. I'm just gonna state that yes. right now. Same. Mm -hmm. Not even a boomerang, by the way, either. Uh, I mean, so the boomerang is certainly uh, not nothing required in terms of logic or anything like that. But uh, for those of you, of course, uh, who are more and more familiar with like doing this the the regular vanilla NMG way, uh, boomerang, as you see, has been there have been lots of stress basically in this tower that have really benefited from using the boomerang. All right, all right, let's let's see this chest turn, Matt. I better get this. No. We, 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 nope. There was there was an attempt to do a chest turn. It's fine. <laughs> 
Actually, where did Matt's shield come from? Because I was even thinking like, oh, Na uh, Faker Jr. kind of had to I dodge around fairy. all of the... Hmm? Waterfall Fairy. So Faker Jr. Oh. claimed it after Hobo. Um, right, and Matt went right. back into it. Waterfall into Zora. Yes, all right, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Chad, as well. Yeah, well, I mean, well, so, like, uh, yeah, Faker Jr. kind of had to, like, dodge some of, like, the arrows that the Red Guards were uh, throwing at him. Uh, I think Matt could just tank him, you know, with the shield. Again, you know, these are these are things that uh, don't necessarily come into play all that often, but when they do, it's it's quite nice. You could also just parry them with an Ice Watcher. True, true. <laughs> all with your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Either works. I mean, and, you know, like, and I will say, like, even the, so the offense is actually really nice, right? Especially on Matt's side, we've got Tempered Sword. Uh, you know, defense-wise, I mean, we do have the shield on Matt's side as well, but, you know, like, four hearts, blue mail. It's maybe not, like, the uh, the comfortablest, but, I mean, I, you know, especially for these two guys, they should be fine. You know, as we're kind of already seeing Faker Jr. and soon-to-be Matt uh, going into the Aga fight. Yeah. For, for runners of this caliber, I, like, they could do it on three hearts, Spider Sword, I... I'm pretty mm -hmm, sure, so... Mm -hmm. This yeah. is yep. above required equipment here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, certainly, uh, you know, so, like, Aga Access is uh, a sword plus cape or two so or two swords plus, right, in order to get in, um, you know, plus lamp. But, you know, obviously, the more swords you have, in this case, you know, the, the more comfortable your climb is. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So we actually did get a quick map check on Faker Jr.'s side. It did catch a regular crystal at Turtle Rock. Uh, Iker is basically clicking all of the markings, though, for us, so... Uh, any any potential potential thoughts so far about what the goals uh, like which which goals you want to go after, Jem, for for this particular layout? It's kind of interesting. Well, it very much depends on what we actually end up finding. But um, so like you always want to go after the five and six ones because they are both crystals and pyramid fairy crystals, so they work you towards two goals. Um, we. So for a Swamp, we only need a hookshot at this point, uh, with Specky Clip letting us clear the dungeon without the hammer. Oh, right, um, right. We don't, have the, we don't have to have the hammer, potentially, in some of these CAs. We don't have to have, uh, potentially, even... Well, I guess maybe it depends on the bits. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, that's certainly a very, very interesting observation as well. Yeah. And then, if we find the stuff for Desert, um, and if our Desert Axe happens to be the Flute, that also sort of puts us in range of getting like the pendant for Mario already. Um, and like the other pendants don't look too bad. Like Skullwards is one where you where you don't need a key. Well you even have to be key, but like you don't need a fire rod for that. Um, and yeah, Eastern, well you need a, a bow and a key for that, so that one is a bit worse, but I don't know. Potentially we could be looking at uh, pedestal and um, five six crystals, depending mm -hmm. on if you find the flute. But okay, yeah. okay. As always, there's always a chance that like one of the pendant pickies is just in GT and then ruins everything. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. And, and right, so GT entry, of course, in this particular mode is only five crystals versus seven. So I think we I think we can actually find a crystal big key uh, as well in GT, maybe depending on yeah. like how the yeah, how the how the distribution of, of items or keys in this case are. Right, yeah, it okay, can be yeah. really lame in this mode where you basically have like all your pendants are locked by NGT and then also two crystals are locked by NGT, so you're really just forced to get a certain oh, like five, five crystals mm -hmm. and, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, well, hopefully in this case it won't be necessarily the case. I was going to want to ask you like the next question is, okay, so now we've kind of taken our landscape or, you know, evaluation of, you know, what potential items we need for uh, Go Mode. Where would you kind of end up going first in Skullwoods? And I guess uh, Baker Jr. Uh, well, he doesn't have the fire rod, as you mentioned, in order to actually, you know, bash some moths. But we're here in Skull Woods. Would do, do you, oh, where, where would you potentially like to go? Same location? It is technically an Agassiz, I guess. So, <laughs> but I don't know if that applies. Yeah, with, really. with the pearl, you can in theory just go back home and go into pod. But I think it makes sense. Like you get your pearl of lumberjacks to just go into a village at that point mm -hmm. and try to find stuff there. Okay. Uh, Skullwoods is a little bit better than normal here, just like any dungeon, um, because you, there's an extra item in here. I'm glad you made that. Yeah, but I'm glad you qualify that statement. You know, just like any other dungeon. You know, I, I don't. <laughs> but of course, you know, everything's relative. Of course, of those, you know, the, who are Dunka fans, uh, we do know. You know, he is a very high proponent of the value of being a Skullwoods. 
Uh, we are already have seen two items out of the three valuable things that we have found in Skull Woods. Uh, arguably, however, I will say the heart container is actually pretty good because we we got but we're now at five whole hearts as opposed to just four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do we always see three? Base? Okay. Oh, I know I could have said that. What was the third? Okay. I saw heart container, I saw uh Red Roof D and it probably was nothing important. So, mm -hmm. okay. It's just typical value of Skull Woods, gotcha. <laughs> 50 rupees in the center, gotcha. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Faker is, is doing great with that. I, oh, a nice early bomb jump from nice, that. That's yeah, so cool. That was, uh, yeah. Recently PB'd 124.48, I want to say, for Matt. Uh, very, very impressive. So, uh, Skull Woods is also by far his, I was, well, my opinion, I think it's probably one of his best splits. So, uh, this dungeon, if it's required, I don't think stands a chance for either team. Uh, with Faker Jr. Uh, ready to basically, you know, kill some moss and then Matt, you know, being going to demonstrate uh, to us, I believe, the easiest room of the game, which is the vanilla picky chest. <laughs> Alright, okay. let's see here uh, what's on King's uh, No, nothing was a graveyard ledge, right? I didn't see anything no. that was important. Okay. It's going to be interesting where Faker goes. Like, he can go to back of escape from here. He could walk back to... I don't think we're doing back of escape. Um... <laughs> Hmm, true. He, <laughs> he could go catfish, okay, interesting. Uh, that's what, yeah, that's what it's looking like. We are going to catfish. So this is actually like a real, uh, I don't know, like north, north, <laughs> what did you call it? Garbage collecting <laughs> route? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the garbage cleanup. Um, it's actually better, like kind of good for, um, for Faker here because he hasn't done his whole area yet, so we can combo that together. That's oh, like the only yeah. time when Catfish is like slightly okay. No, when that's actually really good point. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's actually yeah, it's actually very efficient actually then for for Nate Faker because uh, yeah, he can combine, as you said, Catfish and Zora. He's got all the money, and now he doesn't have to kind of leave. He can basically leave this entire area behind. Ooh, oh, what is this big key do? Ice Palace. <laughs> I see. <Funny>. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, so I, I think you mentioned before, maybe like when we're doing kind of like a, a preliminary analysis of which you know dungeons or we can actually potentially just clear out. Uh, we are missing a fire rod or bombos for Ice Palace entry, but you know, like that big key, especially if Matt doesn't go to Catfish, you know, could actually be an out for Faker Junior or like Vantage, right? Uh, if there is actually something important in that dungeon, it certainly needed logically. But I mean, you know, we we've, we've seen, <laughs> especially on Matt's side, we've seen him, you know, do like uh, we've seen seen an early bomb jump. I'm sure he is more than capable of clearing out Ice Palace. Palace, you know, with or without the king. Yeah, it certainly could um, lock an item, but it's unlike his sanity, um, it's not guaranteed to lead to an actual item. It could just lead to compass or map or a small mm, key. Right, right. Oh, yeah, that's actually a really great point. Yeah, 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 right. That's kind of the one thing that maybe uh, is kind of like lesser lesser advertise uh, for non-entrance key sanity. Uh, logic, uh, the way that the randomizer, I guess, like, fills the items is that you still need the map and compass before actually being able to retrieve the prize off of the boss. Yes, that I can't include having the boss drop the map or compass, but I mean, like, the still, then you, you get that before the, you know, the, the prize itself. <laughs> All right, so we've done our North Dark World and I guess like North Light World <laughs> on Faker Junior side, with the exception, of course, with the back of Escape, depending on what you want to count that. That is gonna, that is uh, currently the major sword difference between himself and Matt. All right, so it looks like this is probably going to be a village uh, entry. So we have the mirror. So I assume you would do front four of thieves at least. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. With the mirror, we also have low enough health that we could get forward. Mm-hmm. Um, that flute is nice. So we can get to the desert in my area now, um, but can't clear either of them because we don't have the keys or, well, the cane. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Or fire. Right. No, we do have fire. But yeah. Yeah, we have, that's right. We do have a lamp. We have, we have the only fire source gem for desert. I don't know what you yeah. other sources you could be thinking about. <laughs> lamp is the only usable item uh, for uh, the back of desert. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. I hope you. Okay. Yeah. I hope you learned something new today. <laughs> yeah. I. I guess so. <laughs> so. So what do you do there? You. You light up torches with the lamp, and then you use your tempered sword and ice sword to kill the boss. Is that how it uh, works? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, the jury's still out on that. Uh, we might be also going for. You didn't mention maybe something about Eastern Palace. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll go find a bow too. Something like that. <laughs> 
Uh, but I think as you did, you know, kind of uh, mentioned before, and you know, also, you know, what uh, it's uh, what, uh, like a somewhat of a meme, you know, to say that uh, all of the big keys that you don't want to see gonna show up before all the big keys you do want to see. Uh, where I think all the big keys we've shown up so oh, you far. Happen to. Are... <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we have big key to pod. Um, okay. less desirable big key. Maybe yeah. it is a regular crystal. Yeah, I mean, at this point, maybe we're just gonna do crystals. Can happen. Mm -hmm. um, we'll still need bow and hammer for pod, but maybe oh, they'll yeah, show that's up. True. That's true. It's, we are, we are lacking it's hammer. Us. That's <laughs> yeah. It's it's really hard to say at the moment which is more likely to happen because we just don't have anything. We can't clear any dungeons yet, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so that's it's, it's right. Really we've we've gotten a lot of stuff so far, and yeah. Uh, but as as you have uh, correctly observed, is that I don't think we can actually finish a dungeon. We can get into a lot of them, uh, but yeah, so far looking like uh, we're gonna have to leave some things behind, which is uh, very undesirable in this mode. Or um, it's pretty undesirable in any mode um, because you don't want to necessarily like double dip places. Okay, I do see that you know Boyne or not <laughs> Matt is here doing dick game. Uh, no, no reason to leave this one behind, especially if we are so uh, bereft of cash. This is quite a long dig game, though. Yeah, surely it'll yield something good, like Ooh. a big key too. Desert, Eastern. Eastern. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> where's that bow? Do you think it's an Eastern? Do you think it's vanilla? <laughs> I would, I, I would think laugh. The bow is an quite hard. <laughs> oh, the bow is an hype. <laughs> okay, with the with the hammer. That's our pod Eastern care package. Yeah, that, wouldn't that be great to find both the bow and the hammer in, in Hype Cave and then you're like, well, what the hell do I do? Do I go for crystals yeah. <laughs> or pendants? <laughs> uh, I was actually just going to ask you that question. I was like, okay, so if we actually do find, in this case, let's say a bow, uh, I mean, so presumably we are going to Eastern, but I mean, would you take the time to go into the Dark World? You know, like via pod and then maybe hedge your bets? Like, Eastern is a Sphere 1 location, but I mean, there's nothing really preventing Eastern from having progression, right? I mean, you know, could be a hammer. We just haven't found it for a while. We haven't had any reason to go in. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're sort of running out of good checks at the moment, so... I... If there's nothing, like, all the way to Hype Cave, I can totally see either of those guys just moving on to Pod EP from here. Would you be at all tempted to do, like, to cut your route after Hype Cave and do, like, the Mire Desert area? Or, or, or... Yeah, yeah, actually, yes. Yes, good point. Okay. Well, well no, yeah, well, you... well, I'm asking... Oh, but, well, oh, we have Aga done, so we don't actually have to go... We don't have to continue our route to Pod. Yeah, exactly. Um, no Hammer, gotcha. Yeah, you can just come back there anytime, so... I think at that point you should just go to the Mire area. So in, in modes like this where... Um, well, you need keys. And also, you are just unsure which dungeons you really should clear. I think it's good to prioritize overworld before other stuff, so... Doing the my area before committing to a dungeon certainly makes sense, in my opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I guess, like, that area is a bit, like, higher density. I mean, so we, we have uh, the entirety of, actually, I guess, of the uh, south west area of light world and dark worlds we have the whole Meyer area we got Meyer shed uh, i guess we do have technically like checkerboard uh, we have agina uh, also serial location that is very inconvenient for uh, for many reasons uh we also do have the front of desert i don't know if you'd be at all tempted to go in i guess if you're there you're you're probably gonna do that right yeah probably if you just have found nothing so far mm -hmm. it's like sort of like overworld while you're there sort of. it's just awkward <laughs> because you can't open the big chest <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's true that's true that's true yeah and even though like desert does have an additional item as you mentioned because uh we the big key is shuffle so it's not guaranteed to be in this dungeon uh but there's no kind of guarantee that we're actually going to be able to get uh, all three items i mean one is one it sounds likely but uh certainly two can be sort of like out of reach mm -hmm. All right, what let's see what's going to Bow. Very close. We need the, the thing that shoots the arrows with. Hmm. I do? Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> I went to the wrong oh. spot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, we have... Oh, we, we have no book. Um, It's it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we, are, we also no longer have a purple chest. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Okay, it's we saw on Matt's side. It was just uh, a an item that I have already forgotten because it was of no value to us. Uh, if Faker, you know, okay, as long as Faker assumes that it's uh, dead to him, 
we are we are good. We don't have to go back. There is going to be no sunk cost fallacy in this sea today. Uh, just you know, keep the keep the tilt meter uh, you know to a minimum. <laughs> Thank you, hard piece. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess for better or for worse. I actually know actually gonna be this is good to be Faker Jr. because uh, he, we have still have not gone to the back of escape on his side, so this is gonna be a very nice tap resort for him. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, that's really nice. So we can clear five six for so now this is actually great coming here. We found a desert big key in the Maya shed. Oh nice, nice. Oh, perfect. Are you gonna find a bow in desert? What do you think? I believe. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we'll just slash each worm two yeah. times with the gold sword. Yeah, I, I think I think you're right. I think the gold sword is like I mean one gold sword slash is basically a fire rod shot, right? In terms of damage equivalency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think uh, I think I think my, I think the I think mass NMG uh, skills for bow landmos is uh, not going to be put on display today. Oh, we have our oh no second that's a second god not our first. <laughs> Okay. So okay. So it looks like uh, yeah. So five. So desert palace, as you as you did mention, like this is actually an extremely high value dungeon. You know, it is a five six crystal. Uh, so it's going to go towards well, multiple goals, uh, both the five six pyramid fairy goal and of course uh, any type of crystal uh, the other five crystal goal that you have. So I guess like, are you tempted at all to go into mire uh, if there is nothing else here that we find in the area, or are you going to kind of well, just end your no. ride at Agina? And... Okay. Oh yeah. So so we can't actually enter because we don't have quake, but. Even if we did, it's oh, kind of right, weird right, because you point, can't finish it because you have neither cane nor the big key, which could lock an item. Mm -hmm. So, like you're locked out of big chest and witty, and like if you're unlucky, you might just find one item out of the three going in there. So it's kind of not that great. I think poor DP probably more enticing, especially with Sars okay. or Dunshek. Oh, right, right. I forgot that we haven't been over there <laughs> yet, like, at all. Okay. Yeah. And I guess, like, yeah, so while I guess maybe we would like to... Man, it, we currently still cannot finish pot or Eastern. I mean, certainly there's nothing preventing from, you know, the, the items that you need to just be in Eastern pot to finish it. Um, but it is certainly very high density. You know, pot and Eastern, of course, both have an additional item because the big keys are shuffled. Uh, and so that actually seemed like a very good use of one's time. <laughs> Yeah, we just don't really have anything good left. So we can do Mountain into Hera, but we can't clear Hera either. So... You... You are correct! We yeah, are missing a hook find, shot! <laughs> you, you can find zero items in Hera, like, without the big keys, so... Yeah, yeah, It's not too enticing yeah. to go there. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess, like, the rest of the mountain, though, is looking pretty... Oh, no, no, we have no hammer, right. I was like, yeah, why can't we just run up? Necklace. Yeah, the other way. We cannot do that. All right, looks like Matt's gonna do his landmills with the with the ice rod. And temp you were pretty close, actually, when we were in Thieves Town. You were saying that we were gonna slash him with the temper sword and ice rod. Uh, he upgraded his sword, but he pretty much did the exact same thing that you said that he was gonna do. Yeah, I, I was talking about Faker there. I'm... Oh, okay, all right, well, that, that's also good, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I still imagine Matt with the uh, with the Darkling sprite. Uh, he did, you know. I will say that Matt's regular sprite has been Darkling for quite some time. Uh, but of course, you know, ever joining, of course, being part of the Pugs uh, kennel, I guess, or you know, the Pugs team, uh, he has uh, definitely swapped up to a Dark Pug sprite. Yeah, I have to admit that it started when I was looking at the screen. I was thinking that left is Matt and yeah. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Oh, okay. so it looks like, is this the Meyer Biki? The one that we don't want to see? Oh, okay, okay I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're just going to pretend I, that I, that thing doesn't exist right now. <laughs> I think we're pretty happy to see this. This oh, really? puts us okay. pretty close to the pedestal goal. So, oh, okay, okay. So we just need Tookshot, Fire Rod, and Kane to finish with pedestal. And the bow. Okay, never mind. So it's a bit more than that, but we at least have the big keys we need. To, to get to pedestal. We also need Quake, but yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, okay, so yeah. Yeah, at least we have the keys. Those, those I think are like the biggest offenders when it comes to um, pendants being locked behind GT. So at least there's this. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's definitely true. And you know, the one of the uh, twists, I guess, on this particular mode is that as you, as you did mention, big key shuffle is within the mix. Um, it might be, you know, just slightly uh, you know, 
like under the radar for you because you know typically like uh it's, this is not full key sanity you might not be uh, maybe as i guess like aware of like oh yeah that's right i do need the x big key like eastern palace big key desert big key uh it would it's, it's certainly a little sad if your discovery for for this piece that you still need to beat the dungeon comes you know towards the end of your your dungeon traversal you know let's say like right before like the pod boss you know, for example uh or you know something like that uh, but yes it is uh, but yeah in this case especially in these types of big keys they can actually lock um well they don't lock very many things uh so it can actually be quite elusive in order to try and find them but as you said like right now it definitely seems like we are uh past the big key hurdle uh but we are still again like we're kind of looking for like those major items right hook shot to finish swamp a uh, fire rod to finish oh, uh, multiple dungeons uh, or even start multiple dungeons at that point uh quake uh where's this hammer by the way john any any guesses <laughs> in pod of course oh in pod okay all right <laughs> All right, looks like Baker Jr. has gone back to uh, the back of the season to pick up his gold sword. Oh, look, look at look at this astute counting on Baker Jr.'s side. He knew there was one item, didn't even need to go pick up the map. Nice. No, no fluffing the connection rate here. Right. Hey, no. look, it's Quake. Uh, it's, so are you? Pendant, so is so. <laughs> how's the yeah? How's the pendant goal looking? <laughs> well, I still need three more items, but it's it's certainly getting closer. Oh nice, we actually got two items out of him, that's kind of nice. Yeah, and it looks like actually, yeah, we have we have no mirror, we have no hammer, oh, sorry, we have a mirror. We have no hammer, we have no hookshot, so we can't actually even access any of Dark Death Mountain, including kind of getting eyes on the Turtle Rock Medallion as well. We do have two, uh, so, so our odds are pretty good to be able to get in. However, uh, if you've ever played Rando before, the game does not have to be kind to you whatsoever. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, just these uh, chances, you know, you can always very much hit like the 33%. So it looks like we're we're going party P now. It's gonna be interesting to see what we find here. Um, mm -hmm. If we find a bow, I I assume Matt would just clear Eastern now with so much with the amount of pen and stuff we have at this point. Mm, okay, okay, that's good to know then. I mean, so in this case, like if we do find the hammer and the bow, like would you would you consider finishing Pod? I assume you certainly go into Pod, but would you actually consider like beating Helma? Yeah, it sort of depends on what we have at that point. If we just don't find any progression, then... Um, well, I guess if by finding the hammer, you have Eastern Modern Nexus, so that's pretty good progression. <laughs> oh, well then, so, so would you leave, then? Uh, uh, that's a weird... I, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird, because there are up to six items. Or, well, there are six mm -hmm. items in port you can get, so... Yeah, it's just kind of weird at that point. Like, you really just hope you don't have to make that decision, I think. <laughs> But, yeah, you certainly might be forced to. We'll, we'll see what happens here. I think in the first place you just go into pod before Eastern here. Just so you don't, you know, end up in the back of Eastern without the bow and then you find the bow in pod mm -hmm. and you have to come back regardless. Yeah, yeah, that's a good uh, point. Now if Matt gets bow locked here, he might be... I don't know if he has a potion. I'm. I mean, does he have a potion? I, I want to say the bottle is empty. Uh, I Iker or someone in chat can correct me. And then the other one bottle he got was a uh, was a B that I think Faker Junior yeah, already sort of released. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Faker Junior is going into into my ooh, view. Ooh. Very, very interesting point of divergence. I mean, so there is certainly nothing that is stopping the Kana Samaria being here somewhere in Mire, and we do have the Dry Bricky. So we can actually uh, be able to get everything uh, that's available to us, My, uh, minus in this case like Vitreus himself, or itself. I always get sad when I see people not dash across this bridge. For some reason, <laughs> nobody realizes that you can't just dash across it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a, that's a good tip for Matt in the future. <laughs> Alright, have we found anything good in pod? Have we found anything in pod besides keys? We found a no. third bottle, okay, that's... Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Faker Jr. Actually, going straight for the big chest, we have a heart piece in Harmless Hallway for Matt as well. Okay, so nothing really of interest. Although, I guess for what it's worth, that is still... That's one out of three items, potentially, here in Mire. 
It would actually be quite nice uh, if we actually just get all three items and then Faker Jr. can just leave uh, without having, mm -hmm. I guess, like too much. Like he doesn't have to necessarily think about, oh, do I have to come back here to beat Vitreous for that one extra item? Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, maybe we get the game and then we... Yeah, exactly, we exactly. <laughs> Come into the penance early and then we don't ever find the bow or yeah. find rods. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's actually another interesting thing. Well I guess like here, at least like for Eastern being man, Pod is Pod has been such a disappointment. We had an empty bottle, I think we also had two heart pieces so far. And a heart container. I guess oh yes, we do have the yeah. do we have the Bullock side? I don't think Matt. Oh yes, Matt. He he just went straight oh, okay. to bridge and then found a key and went to the okay. bag. Okay. What makes sense in this mode because you have the big key already, so you can just mm -hmm, rush the back, mm -hmm. which is more likely to have items. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Oh hey, my gosh, alright, <laughs> well that is a really nice find for Faker Jr. Coming into Pendant Mire, that looks like he is going to at least finish, finish up Eastern. Um, a, a, you know, another Pendant, but it is a 5-6 a five, pen five, Pendant. It is the green Pendant, so at least you can turn something in for the hospital when you're done. But more importantly, he is going to be able to finish up Eastern Palace. Yeah, that that 5 item Eastern Palace is looking pretty juicy right now. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there's nothing stopping from a bow just being right here on the bow lock side, because we didn't see mm -hmm. that the bow was actually readily available. Uh, nothing would surprise me here. We have a oh. home. <laughs> well, we have a fire rod. Uh, that is Skullwoods, maybe? Ice Palace? Yeah, Skullwoods and Ice. So, so, with the combined knowledge of these two, we're Hookshot and Kane away from Pyramid Fairy, Panda, and um, Go Mode. Um, what do we need to get five crystals? Let's maybe look at that. Uh, we actually don't have much stuff for crystals, do we? <laughs> I guess we're still missing, like, we don't have a Thief Sound big key, that's kind of important. Yeah, we're missing yeah. all the good big keys except for Pod, and like, yeah, we need something and... to do Hera with. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, normally, normally I think that, especially for like Tower of Hera, it's a, I won't say necessarily considered like a free dungeon, but it's a very uh, easily accessible dungeon, right? Typically speaking, right, you just kind of need like a mirror to get in, and then, and then it's like a very cheap dungeon, not only, right? Uh, however, we seem to be missing uh, a hook shot, which for the most part we, we kind of expect to have probably by this point, but it hasn't showed up yet. And we also don't have the big key because this is big key shuffle. So suddenly, like that dungeon is actually kind of inaccessible, at least at this particular moment. Yeah, so yeah, we're really interested in finding an oak shot. Um, like we need it for the 5 6 crystal swamp, but we also wanted to maybe clear Hera if we want to go crystal school. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, and I, yeah, so yeah, like, but maybe like we might just never find it. That's also a possibility. Mm -hmm. Like we could just finish with pendants and five crystals that are yeah. not <laughs> both pyramid fairy crystals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's probably I would say like probably one of like the worst, worst, or worst case scenarios for this particular mode in that you just can't combine the goals, right? Like you have completely orthogonal ones. Like the pendants uh, only contribute to the pendants goal, and then the five crystals mm -hmm. that you can't get from five like the pyramid fairy ones are just also standalone. Right, so like, yeah, it sounds like maybe you do have to clear out like eight dungeons, uh, but I, well, we're still hoping, you know, probably more often than not, it's gonna be you know fewer than that. So I wonder what our real progression is. Is it just gonna be on Armo slash Green Pendant or? Mm. What do we even have left after that? We have Skullwoods. No, we have we already found all three items there, so there's nothing in Skullwoods anymore. I guess we have Ice Palace now, without the hammer. That's great. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it was... <laughs> oh, yuck. Uh, yeah, in Faker Jr. Arcata, you did some of the North Dark World stuff for us. Like he, oh, well, Matt also did Gravity Ledge as well, but uh, Faker Jr. specifically also went to go check Ice Palace... or Catfish for the Ice Palace big key. Hmm... Alright, looks like, looks Matt, like Matt did Matt not is going find catfish. Anything? Yeah, there's nothing oh, in yes. Eastern or Pod. Mm. And yeah, with the saving quits, there's nothing else you can do from here, I don't think, except for catfish. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, good point, good point. So maybe, yeah, so after this then, it'll be probably be Ice Palace for both of them? Well, I'll wait, Figure well, Junior still perfect. has to go into pot first, but yes. Yeah. Oh, Bat! Magic Bat! Oh, great, great call, Iker. See, <laughs> this is why he's our tracker. <laughs> we found the cape in Hype Cave, uh, and we did see Powder oh, on, yeah, yeah. on Upper Ledge, so true. yeah, that is another check that's available to us. Oh, no, oh my gosh! What the? <laughs> what the nice save, though. What did? 
How did that? Okay, you know, I you know, I've seen some high jumps in this game before, but uh, <laughs> never, never caused by a rope by a lottery. <laughs> we didn't even need this. So is that how you save it? You you just uh, jump you, uh, Yeah, you yes, you apparently need a high jump. <laughs> uh, Wow, yeah. things that's things you never think would happen in uh, in a game that you've, you've been watching and playing for so many years. <laughs> I guess. So my coach is no. I, I think finding the ice spell is picky at first, and like it's tempting to just like go into the portal. Yeah, I, I was actually wondering if he was it was he was tempted to do that uh, to begin with because it is. Oh, but looks like we're gonna get a Meyer dip out of this. Yeah, so he's gonna get his bow and then. Mm -hmm. Maybe Feels come sad. back for Amos. I don't know, I think he's feeling pretty good about going for pendants at the moment. Because we're oh. really just missing the game at the moment. To, oh, I see, to finish I see. The goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I was more thinking that like he's going to be a little sad because he went in Eastern, right? And I think, you know, got pretty far, but he couldn't end up into them, so he has to go back. Um, well, yeah, that's, that's fair. Okay, so... If we are at least coming to Eastern, would you not... Like, would you just kind of put Pod off to the back burner for a bit? Like, so, or you maybe try holding off on the area until maybe you find the hammer? But then you have to kind of maybe commit to Pod, like, to finish the dungeon, even though you're kind of already going for the Pendant's goal at this point? Yeah, it's, well, we, we don't have the hammer, so we don't really have to worry about Pod with this bow. That's okay. that's a good thing. Matt already did the Bolog side with his potion. Right, right, so. yeah. And he already got the fire rod I don't out think of he's it. worried. Okay, okay. Yeah, looks like. Alright, so Vicar Jr. is also going to get his Fire Rod here. Uh, it's a good decision, of course, for him to go in here and uh, at least, uh, looks like the Fire Rod is at least pretty, uh, pretty useful, to say the least. Yeah, but, like, at some point we're going to have to find... Something? Something <laughs> that actually is progression. Progression. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, presumably something that gets us to East of Mountain, either the Hammer or the Hookshot. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, so if we get the hookshot, is that enough for us to do 5-6 crystal? Yeah, that lets us do and... swamp, with, with Becky Clip, of course. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, then we need Kane to finish the pendants, or we need a bunch of stuff to finish the crystals. <laughs> okay, do you think we can finish the sea without the hammer? I'm j I'm, I haven't thought about it yet, yeah, but I'm sure. just... Okay, that would actually be really yeah, we... cool, if that was actually the case. We, we only need Kane and, and, and uh, Oakshot to finish with Pendants and Permit Fairy. Might be slightly inconvenient, I would say, without the hammer, just in terms of like, you know, overworld traversal, but, uh, you know, th these guys can manage. I think it'd be pretty cool in order to finish up the seed without the hammer. It's, it's, it's just stuff that you don't necessarily get to see. Also, kind of puts a higher emphasis, right, on Specky Cliff, just because, you know, as you said, right, like, typically speaking, like, for a swamp to be a crystal, a vice crystal that we can go for, uh, you would typically need the hammer, but, you know, with the advent, you know, of, or the allowance of, you know, some newly discovered tech, right, that is no longer the case. Okay, we didn't see the cutscene chest on Faker's side earlier. And okay. that's very good for Faker. Because <laughs> Mike just wasted a minute here. Yeah, I'm just like, wondering Mike? if... I, I, <laughs> I, I heard, I heard a k and then a, a, an M at the beginning, so, you know, it's, it's all good. <laughs> Damn you, Mike, for posting in chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there is Faker Jr.'s Fire Rod, so he'll be, he'll be pretty, he'll be pretty happy. So far, at least, you know, uh, he's been able to single dip, well, Single dip pod and single dip eastern. It's probably a certainly a nice thing. Uh, can't get out uh, with a late realization that we don't have a hammer. But, good, but, but we have the mirror. That's actually probably the more important part. Oh my gosh, he's also Come getting back. bullied. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, so okay, so you think that maybe with this with the bow, you think Matt would just go back to uh to Eastern Palace to finish it up? And I, I guess it'd be so. more with of a this commitment. Rather than hand, yeah. she can already clear two pendants and Amos mm -hmm. has two items. Um one we know is just right. have magic, but there's still the green pendant on it. Right, right. And uh, presumably Faker Jr. is actually gonna turn this in right after he finishes a pod. Or like <laughs> finishes up his his collection of useless items. Yeah. 
And yeah, it's actually going to be interesting on Faker's side once he's done with the Green Pendant on him, because... Like, what does he have left? He only has, like, getting the powder of Bumper Ledge and then doing bad, or he has uh, Ice Pants, right? I'm mm -hmm, sure nothing mm -hmm. else. Yeah, I think I think you're right about that. Oh no, I guess he still has the mountain stuff. Like, well, the mountain stuff in that he hasn't. No, no, he he has all been fair. That's where the quake was. Oh, you're right. You're right. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be interesting if the green pendant doesn't have anything. <laughs> Is this gonna be a classic hammer and ice palace type of situation? Uh, well, you know what? Like <laughs> yeah, well, I, I will say, good thing, by the way, we have lots of help <laughs> going into Ice Palace. If we have to go, say, get the hammer out of the spike chest. Uh, pretty important, by the way, that we actually have enough health to survive the, the, the spikes attack. We also do have visibility for what it's worth, but you know, just, just something to keep in mind if you, uh, if yeah. you ever decide to try and do that dungeon low percent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there may have been lessons learned recently <laughs> about that. <laughs> Right, we're just we're just getting bullied left and right uh, on Faker Junior's side. It's okay. This is why we have blue mail. All right. There's also a swamp, I guess. One item in swamp. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! That uh, item in swamp actually just got up. Uh, that stock has risen actually slightly because we have nothing on the green pen turned in. So we didn't get half magic. Certainly, we'll make beating cold stare. Uh, probably among other things, you know, very nicer. I just you know, coupled that fire rod. Uh, however, we need to get to cold stair first in order to be able to do that. We are still lacking a very hard required hammer. So, thank you for not choosing ice here. So, I guess we're getting the powder. Yes, we're getting the yeah. And without the hammer, you have to go into the dark world, right? Like you have to like dark dark world mirror and then dive in. Yeah, by the portal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe there's only- oh no, I was gonna say, there is only, like, we don't have anything left in this area, but then I forgot about hammer pegs, and, well, we still can't get hammer pegs! Um, I, of course, unless the bat has the hammer, in which case it's also going to be a very, uh, terrible check. Yeah, so Faker actually, for, uh, like, lost his purple chest earlier, so... Oh, yeah! Great I assume he's more inclined to do this because he still has to check purple chest. Okay, that's also a very good point which... as well. <laughs> Which could be huge for him if that ends up being the solution. Mm -hmm. um, it could also, of course, be you know the opposite, and that is a waste of time. And like I assume he'd go to Ice Palace instead of Bad here if he had uh, lost the purple chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it certainly does look like if he had already done purple chest, there's kind of the only one thing available to him at zero, with the exception, of course, if he ended up getting the hammer off of Bat. Um, but yeah. The other option, of course, is what Matt's doing right now, is he's going to Hammerless Ice Palace. Uh, Caneless Ice Palace, not only, so... Would you hit yeah, the switch here, Yeah, a whole here, lot of fun yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, like, would you, would you just kind of assume that you're gonna find something good here, like the hookshot, or the hammer? And if you find the hammer, are you gonna beat the dungeon? I because it is it is a pendant, we or sorry, it is a crystal, a regular crystal, and we've already beaten one, mm. one pendant. Like, would you continue? Yeah, I, I think you just beat the boss. While you're here, because Hookshot could very well just be in GT. Right, and beating right. this dungeon is in logic because you have the big key. So wait, did he? Did he? Did he it not check the... that? Oh no, <laughs> we just hey. we just went to go get the purple chest. Uh, but he took the time in order to go pick up the powder, right? Oh, we're just going he's, back. He's going, going back, back now. Back? Yeah, the portal is still there for what it's worth. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> But it's yeah, it's. I, I yeah, I it's I, I just assumed that he would have done the bat first, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We've Maybe. all recovered. It's when we all recovered. Yeah. Maybe just forgot fine. in the moment. It, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. This is a tournament race. I mean, things things happen. If you've uh, never actually raced under any amount of pressure whatsoever, <laughs> it uh it can it does things to you. All right. Let's see what's on bat. Cause Matt hasn't really found anything in Nice Palace so far. It is okay, not. not <laughs> it, yeah, <laughs> it is not on magic bats. All right, this so, is going to be presumably um, Ice Palace then for Faker Junior. Yeah, I, I doubt he's going to go to Swamp here. Yeah, mm -hmm. so why is it is? We're about to find stuff now. 
<laughs> and any any chest we're gonna find some oh wait we found 50 rupees <laughs> let's go yeah well good thing by the way matt also went to go check catfish before this uh never mind we don't care about catfish catfish is always yeah. a waste of time don't you agree jam <laughs> yeah that's what i meant earlier like it's not key sanity so you're not guaranteed to actually get an item out of your big key for eyes yes could just be garbage is this is this our only way to ice ice tea? Looks like that's where Matt's going. But I I mean yeah, he, I don't he, actually he know ice palace for routing at all. Okay. Yeah, he had PPJ, so he has to do it this way. Oh, but okay. it makes sense okay. to PPJ because odds are pretty decent that the hammer is here, so mm -hmm. you wanna you probably want to beat this dungeon because you don't know yet whether you can even clear the crystals or at uh, the dependence or swamp. So Yeah, yeah, good point. You kinda want the crystal if you're this deep into the dungeon already. So yeah, here or spike chest or first chest of swamp. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're 50-50 uh, for whether or not it's here in Ice Palace, is that what we're saying? Mm -hmm. Matt? Uh, oh, do we get all the items? Wait, Matt, where are you? Oh, I guess... No, spike chest? No, spike chest is not an object, actually. Because we don't have hookshot. Don't have hookshot and... because we... Oh, because we can't get through like the red jelly mafia room, is that... Like, you're not expected to bomb jump, is that what it is? Yeah. And... I think this is accurate, and... Um, like... You can, you can in theory, open the, the, the key door to the right side with a small key, but you can also waste it downstairs. So... Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just no. gonna trust, I'm gonna trust, Although, I'm gonna trust you on this one, <laughs> so... Okay. Although the logic apparently is bad, as Mike is pointing out, so... It might be a logic after all. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, so how many items do we get out of ice? I, I saw 50 rupees in the hard container. I mean, if there is one more, I don't know if that's, it was worth last time, thing. or... Okay. Yeah, we found the map in the compass chest and then the compass in the big chest, so... Okay, okay. No, oh, this could be bad for Matt if... If the logic works this way. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Well, Wait, I what? mean, well... So... What's fake are doing? He didn't go to the big chest there. He did not go to the big chest, correct. Is he going to do ice tea onto big chest? Or is this he going to do spike oh, wait, cave? He, well, he can't do this reliably. <laughs> because if he doesn't find hammer or a small key on the right side of the spike chest, then he can't get out. So... <laughs> A little scary then, if oh. that's the case? Well, I mean, yeah, it, so it looks like it's 50 there's something right? good on the right side, it's, it's fine. Yeah, so we know uh -huh. this is fine. But if there's nothing here, you might have to go back in. Okay, while well, he leaves. Okay, so we also know it's swapped now. Interesting. Oh my gosh, wow, what? <laughs> but yeah, Amazing. if, 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 okay. if that small key had been like 20 rupees, then he would have had to mirror and come back into the dungeon to get to a big yeah, chest and ice that, tea. That is really, that is really unfortunate. So, well, okay, so that means that, okay, so then in order to get to ice tea, you have to kind of do what Matt did, right? Is to kind of like go down and then have to come back upstairs. Uh, but I guess like, yeah, okay. But figure Junior just had a yeah, chance, I guess, in this case. Yeah, I, I wonder what this, this plan there was. Because that's dangerous to do. Spike, like, you have to do spike just last without the hammer. Mm -hmm. Unless you have an abundance of small keys somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely not... Also, yeah, as you mentioned, this is only big key shuffle, not key sanity. Uh, we don't... We, this is not a bring your own key situation. Except the big one. Alright, hopefully Faker Jr. will survive his way, because we definitely saw Matt get really uh, uh, tossed around here by that anti-fairy, but looks like he's okay. Alright, he's gonna get his heart container, and then I guess I guess we're going to swap. <laughs> oh. Yep. That's where our stuff is. Mm -hmm. Let's hope okay, it's, it like... it's the hookshot and not the hammer, because if it's the hookshot, then at least you can clear the bench while you're there. Yeah, that's also a good point, man. Oh, classic first chess uh, Swamp Pals is gonna be the X thing that you need. Actually, if it's, the, if it's the hook, actually, is it possible for the hookshot to be? Oh, the hookshot will get us Eastside Mountain access, right? That's the, that's the important part. I was thinking like, yeah. it's still not sufficient for you to clear swamp, like only the hookshot. I mean, logically speaking. Uh, oh no, oh no, Faker Junior. Well, I think I'm forgetting about. Think, yeah. Hammer. See, this is the problem, right? This is the problem with late hammer seeds. We're like almost an hour in. We still don't have a hammer. We don't have a hookshot. It is very awkward, uh, and just in terms of overall routing. 
because it's you know, like your muscle memory is just you know geared toward you want to go to swamp flute to four you know or or something right and yeah. or you want to go to pod flute to five and uh, it, yeah it doesn't happen For what it's worth, neither of them will feel too terrible about last locating progression yeah, in Swamp yeah, here because yeah. mm -hmm. almost nobody. Yeah, no one's gonna. Yeah, nobody there was goes to Swamp early. Yeah. All right, one more. Okay, all right, we got the small key. What is in the first chest? What, what, what's your guess? Is it the hammer? Hammer or hookshot? Oh, it could be the hookshot. <laughs> hookshot? I want him to clear okay. this dungeon while they're here. All right. Okay. Yeah. We they've they've already suffered enough so far. You know, we uh we are an hour in. We have two dungeons cleared. Nice. We found the hookshot. We can finally clear. A, uh, we can finally achieve one of our goals. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a what a terrible. Oh, this by is the way. <laughs> this is interesting because I think you definitely want to do pyramid ferry right after Swampfield. Yeah, I, I was actually thinking about that too. Well, it was like so typically like maybe you know you can just always save pyramid ferry on your way to you know beat Ganon, right because it's like right there. But uh, there is also one more item in pyramid ferry, right? In addition to the triforce piece. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and there's there's a couple of other reasons too because. Um, so if you never find the hammer, you would have to walk all the way from Village of Outcasts again to get to the bomb shop. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, and but since I guess we also have anger that, mm -hmm. um, like, combining Permit Ferry with uh, Ganon isn't that important, because you can just always save and quit to Ganon. Right, right. Well, oh, that's an excellent point, yeah. That's right. Our Pearl, uh, for those of you who are maybe joining us a little bit on the later side, uh, our Pearl was on Lumberjack, so yes, Aga absolutely required. I hope. <laughs> looks like looks like Faker Jr. was expecting a hammer <laughs> or something. Uh, but again, you know, this is a, this is a very interesting set of uh, situation, you know, just because I think if we had the seed before the season from League, right, uh, when Specky Clip was not yet discovered, uh, would have been a very different situation. Oh yeah, we would definitely have to leave right now. Yeah. All right, we found our fourth bottle here. Uh, Figure Junior is actually probably pretty happy with <laughs> that bottle of blue potion. We are just a, a touch wary uh, on the health situation. <laughs> I have, I mean, well, so he he might get a heart refill uh, on the big chest. I think uh, I don't have any track of these guys' heart pieces, but it was one in the big well, chest. Matt, Matt didn't get a refill, and they both get so yeah, far, yeah, that's, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? That's, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's actually a good point. Okay, so uh, I, I mean, you know, you probably already covered this again, uh, but remind me. So is spec so with Specky Clip, uh, is it actually faster to left side, like after the dungeon, after you go to the back? It's okay. So in this mode in particular, because they already have the big key, I guess doing left side first is better because you well can't find the big key in the back because you already have it. <laughs> mm, uh huh. Right. Um, then again, left side is not, well, like the entire dungeon past the first chest is not in logic, so that probably makes it less enticing to actually, like, go to left side though. Mm -hmm. Plus you, like, you could, like, invest the minute plus to go to left side swamp here, or you could just go to east of mountain, mountain. which is yeah. mm -hmm. actually 500 items, so... I think that's... Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, I do trust your math, by the way. I trust you on logic, I trust you on math. <laughs> and uh, 500 sounds pretty accurate Oh, Matt, to me. Matt you have to... Uh, Okay, so Matt is not going to permit Ferry here. I think that's a mistake, but maybe we'll just find a hammer on these of Mountain and it'll yeah, be alright. Yeah, exactly. I mean, surely, uh, surely, well, actually, Pyramid Ferry can and think can have our hammer, right? Uh, no, 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 cannot have our hammer. No, 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 no. because Swamp is yeah, Swamp is yeah. a Pisces crystal. Yes. Yeah, but more importantly, it could have the the cane, and we just being goblin. True. Oh, dude, that would be amazing, actually. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of less amazing, we uh, almost we did not get dead rock. We almost did. Okay. Let's see in this case if Faker Junior decides to do either left side swap or or pyramid berry. We are also very rich, so no money issues whatsoever this time. Good thing Matt has two bombs. <laughs> <laughs> or at least one bomb to be able to get him through Paradox Cave. I mean, there is, of course, a shop on the left-hand side. What is this big key to? Yeah, well... Well, Turtle Rock is a good big key because, like, you never clear Turtle Rock in the seat because once you find the cane to clear Turtle Rock, you just... Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. You kind of don't oh, want to find, like, thieves and... Well, on the other hand, 
Well, we did find a shovel. Like, anything anything else what, what, what's, what's crystal gum? Oh, it's like... Thieves big and... Ooh. O'Hara big also works. <laughs> mm, okay, so I guess, are you... Oh my god, dude. Uh, are we, are so we, we have... heading back over to Hera? We have Hera, we have... No, we still only have Hera right now as crystals, right? Yeah. Yeah. But if we find the hammer, hammer is actually also go mode at this point, right? Because we can do Hera, Hot, and Ice, which would get us in crystal go mode. Mm hmm. Okay. So. Matt. <laughs> I don't know if that was. Uh, okay, but, okay but, but, but maybe what I'm hearing also is that, like, maybe try not to be too fixated on, like, we've already cleared Eastern Palace, let's just try and find the rest of the pendants. Like, we can. We just already cleared that dungeon. It is essentially sunk cost to us. If it, yeah, if it doesn't end just, up being the... Yeah, alright. Yeah, well, we did find the hammer. Is that, would you, wait, you said something about hair, uh, the hammer go mode? Because we yeah, did find it on Super Money? Go mode. Okay. Yeah, I assume Matt will still at least check uh, the hookshot cave here. Because if we find Kane, that's just faster to do pendants instead. Hmm. Oh, right, because we can do Mire. Uh, and... What was our other pendant? Oh, Skull Woods. Right, right. And Skull we've Woods, already gotten yeah. everything out of Skull Woods. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's significantly faster. Yeah. The nice thing about Skywards is too, like you get the last pendant there and then you mirror and just immediately pull Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that okay, was... But... There no, was no, no cane. cane. <laughs> no, no, the awkward thing is we might still need the cane to find our Trifos piece on okay. right side. That is, that is also <laughs> very true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, wow. Look, there's a... Are you getting that book? I guess Matt's not getting the book. <laughs> no. Oh. I'm surprised he doesn't do Era while he's there. Oh. Oh, okay. well, you know, maybe he wants to do it right before GT, I guess. Um, to save himself that... Well, no, he still has to go into the Dark World too, right? To, in order to get into GT? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I mean, I guess that's his plan, but... I don't know. Like, he could clear Hera and find the cane, and I think it would still be faster to just do pendants. Mm -hmm. Like, if you just find get cane for free on Moldorm. It would definitely be faster, because you don't have to search GT Basement. Oh yeah, that's true. Sorry. I guess so. Actually, so if you're in Hera, like, would you would you actually still check like the the, the big chest and like the compass chest, or would you just go straight to Moldorm? No. Basically, you're saying no. You would just go straight to Moldorm. Like, okay. The odds of finding actually finding the cane are low, but it can happen. So, like you, you should try to plan around it mm -hmm. um, and do Hera here. I think, but yeah, it's, it's not that big a deal. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's once again forgetting they don't have the hammer. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's okay, we'll, uh, but we can, we can get in the dark world the other way, which is, you know, via the super funny entrance. <laughs> it's okay. Again, you know, this is, the things happen, you know, when you're an hour plus into a seed, and, you know, just a regular non-entrance seed, and you don't have the hammer, like, things, it, like, <laughs> it just messes with you. <laughs> <laughs> so... Here's something that uh, Matt hasn't checked, which is Pyro Cave. It would be kind of funny if Kane was here. If the Kane was just here, actually here. Actually, yeah, that, <laughs> that can buy Faker Jr. some time, right? Because Matt's actually going to be here clearing oh, yeah. dungeons. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was so close! <laughs> oh my cane. gosh, oh, it was a Kane, yes, it was just not the right color. It's just another, you know, thing to show you that red is, of course, uh, the superior color of all things. <laughs> He tried, he really did. I bet if Faker Jr. had red mail, that would have been the red cane, okay? It's because oh, he was only on blue mail. Mm hmm yes. Mm -hmm. It's I have, a, it's I have a very strong radio right? authority on this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> there is an interesting question. At what point... Um, is it not fast anymore to find the cane and do pendants? Uh, I, don't, like, I think after... Reason. If you get cane of Helma, I think you still do pendants. Because... Wait, really? Like, you, 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 you could spend like two minutes searching GPT for the Triforce piece. Oh, yeah. I, I think... That's true, and then you also spend a minute just climbing the mountain. It's probably better to just do the pendants, so... And I guess you have, you have the cane now then for Ice Palace too, right? Well... Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, but in this case, like, all you're gonna do is Swamp and Swamp, Skull Woods and Mire, and so, it's yeah. actually, I guess, yeah, it's just like, it's fixed cost time versus variable, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Well, we did not find the cane, unfortunately, on Helma, so uh, the hypotheticals are just gonna continue. Yeah, uh, I mean, if, if you find the cane now on Cold Stray, I don't think it's fast anymore to do pendants, mm -hmm. so... 
Okay. At this point, you're basically locked in uh, into a crystal uh, GT yeah. boat. But I think in this case, like, you did bring up a good point, though. Like, maybe in this case, like, Matt, if he actually did... So, if, if the cane is here on Moldorm specifically, then I uh, would have actually say Matt a good amount of time. Because I think he wanted... Maybe he wanted to try and combine things together, right, with the mountain. But, you know, mm -hmm. if you actually just find things... You have to go off the mountain anyway, and so if you have to find it here before you go off, like, that's also a pretty nice time save. Alright, really nice uh, Harapot set up there on Faker Jr. side. Very consistent in terms of time. Yeah, that would be interesting with Moldom has. We already found two items in here though, so... Right, right. The odds mm -hmm. of Moldom having an item are not the highest. Mm -hmm. It would be pretty interesting for the race though, if this was Kane. Oh, for and sure. And Faker ended up going pedestal. Yeah, yeah. This is the power of the gold sword, by the way. You don't even need to spin or slash. You just poke. <laughs> Look, it's a small key. We don't... <laughs> uh, that is not uh, a location we're actually going to go check out. It doesn't matter. Uh, it... Even if the cane were there, I don't think it would be worth our time. <laughs> Probably not, it would be very close. Mm. Alright, I think, uh, well I don't know if Matt's gonna run the MG weekly, but he is certainly getting his workout for Ice Palace Bomb Jump uh, twice, <laughs> by the way, in one seed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, look, the door is already open. And, you know, and nobody died to Cold Stare because we couldn't actually get to Cold Stare the first time we were both here on Baker Jr. and Matt's side. Just kind nobody of died to Cold Stare yet. That's right. Y yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they'll be fun. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I certainly would expect. They have Gold Sword. I think that's probably the, the best piece of defense slash offense that they have, right? Is the, you know, people I know do like the six slash strat, you know, versus Cold Sword with Tempered Sword. I think it's like the old, what, three slash strat, you know, with Gold Sword. Since it's, you know, double damage. Yeah, basically they always die before they can have any mm -hmm. chance of farming you. Yeah, and of course with yeah, the hammer at this time, be, yeah. Hmm? I'll be in GT very soon, but there's still a chance that we need the cane. Yep, there, there is a chance. The right mm -hmm. There's always a chance the cane is actually just in GT, right? In theory? Yeah? That too, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah Meyer's a pendant, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be a pendant, but that's a very strong indication that the cane doesn't have to be like out in the wild before we go visit uh, GT. But I think everything else is accessible, right? Like, we, we can get to the right side with a hammer now. Or the left side, sorry, with the, with the hammer, and uh, we have we have a fire source. Yeah, so that would have been really funny if the cane was just on the stair. <laughs> I guess that actually would be a match. Well, okay, I guess it doesn't matter, but um, like if Cole said uh, had a small key. And oh, that would have been interesting. Yeah, yeah. And Thief Stone Baker's like in GT then. You would need the cane to clear either um, TR or Ice Palace, mm -hmm. but also it, like it doesn't matter because you would still search OGT for the tribe of Hospice first anyway. So there's no reason to deduce that the cane can't be there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really interesting. Actually, I mean, like this is actually one of like the more interesting things about like I, I about this mode. I mean, like, well, I mean, we're like kind of like watching this race and kind of. You know, like just basically like thinking about it, kind of as we go. I don't know. I can't actually imagine like as a runner trying to figure this out like on the fly. I don't know. It just seems like so much stuff you have to keep in your to keep track of. In addition, you actually have to go like play the game, right? But I do. Think yeah, it's but very, you very play the game on autopilot, so you can just spend most of the time. Oh, thinking. okay, okay, it's, gotcha. It's <laughs> right. So okay, so so your solution for this mode is uh, find tempered as fast as you can, and then just autopilot the rest. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I think they both did a good job at that. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, we even got gold store pretty early. Hope you're taking notes for your race in like, you know, uh, 40 minutes at this point, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm getting a good workout and thinking about mm -hmm. where to go <laughs> for this part. Alright, that is uh, five, four, five crystals down for Baker Jr. What do we have? No, he's saying to the pod. Oh, right, right. Okay, he's do that. Yeah, okay, yeah. So he's, he's got pod left and then up the mountain. And then as Matt is, uh, he's going to do Harrow real quick. And then we're going to go and search for that Triforce piece in GT. Uh, we're only hoping that it's early. You know, Torch would be great. Uh, actually, okay, so actually in this mode, if you're searching for stuff like, uh, well, okay, without the cane, I assume you can do Hope Room into like left side. Mm, yeah. Okay. 
Is there is there more yeah. of like a meta, I guess, for if you actually have the cane, like you know, search for GT basement? Like, would you still do like Boynerel or like you know, le like yeah. Southwest from Vinta help room? Okay. Yeah, you're still searching just for one item that can be anywhere, so it's essentially like looking for the big key. Okay, okay, that makes sense. The only difference is you don't need to be conscious of your small keys because you're never gonna climb, so you can basically always skip um, the the pod key after compass room, for example. Oh. Oh okay, yeah, that's that's a good point. Right, right, because we don't need one uh, for upstairs GT. We don't have to incur <laughs> uh, accidentally not being able to open a door uh, when we climb with zero keys. Okay, that's the fifth crystal for for Matty. So about to enter GT here, and yeah, either. Within like the first few seconds, or within like two minutes, or <laughs> within the next uh, twenty, we, if it's on right yeah, side, she right, will have the uh, triforce piece. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. So you know, while we're all about you know setting records, you know, for for this particular mode, you know, uh, we like to go fast. I know that Ravis and Vex were probably very proud of their one forty record uh, for the uh, longest amount of time taken to finish the, uh, a seed in this mode. Uh, maybe they would like to keep that record. You know, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm sure they're very proud of that, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we have here in Hope Room as Faker Jr. goes to the back in order to beat Helma? Just picked up a red boomerang somewhere. That's kind of nice. All right, nothing in Hope Room. Also, no small key. So, well, I guess it doesn't matter, you know, because we can't go to right side anyway, but but here we are. <laughs> Look, there's the cane. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> are you going back? Are you going back to the right side now? We're just, we're just going, we're just going left. <laughs> We're just- we're just going no, left. Maybe okay. either. Oh, you definitely do start this room first, but then, I don't know, you might go back for right side or you just go to left side first. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, certainly, uh, yeah, you want to use your cane, keys. right, that you just found, so you gotta Yeah, go right well, right, okay. because it's in the- it's in the latest- oh, we have three small keys in this room. Well, it looks like Matt is- he's using ether, so this tells me he wants to keep going the left side. But I mean, I don't know, you know? Kane was- <laughs> Kane was the most recent item we got, so... <laughs> yeah, it is interesting. It could swing things a little bit in Faker's favor again, but I think Matt is far enough ahead that even if he does all of left side for nothing, he will still be a little ahead going to Compass Room. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, because right, that's right. Figure Junior still has basically a whole well mountain climb, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, then mm -hmm. again, Faker's Although... already done Pyramid Ferry. Yeah, that's what I was actually thinking too. It was like, so I mean how long does Pyramid Ferry take? Is that like a minute of our time? I guess yeah. or something like that? Sort of like a bit less than a minute, especially okay. if I get that, but Okay. All right. Well, he made oh. the right decision uh, in order to not just just forget about the cane, <laughs> yeah. and we and now just got it on Parsnake. We're probably wishing he had done Pyramid Ferry already. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. Right, because we have to climb all over the pyramid. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sort of why it was nice to do Pyramid Ferry right after Swamp because yeah, you can just save and quit straight. Um, to Ganon from the Dark World. Okay, I was, I was actually wondering. For a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is Matt just gonna go the regular route? It's okay, he just has a slightly different version, I guess, of delivering the bomb when Aga Portal's available. We are also seeing some of the effects of too many sprites on the screen, on the screen, especially in the post Aga Light world. But we're very close on Matt's side, and so, um, and so same as Nick Faker Junior. He's pretty close to getting to GT. But yeah, we, and we've also got, got we've got Gold Sword uh, to basically take down Ganon uh, as comfortable as possible, basically for. Oh, I like the same quid. Oh, is it actually faster? It's... Yeah, this is a little faster. I'm pretty sure. To oh, get that's that awesome! Oh, that's that's so cool. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna hopefully get a hint as to. So, where do you think? Where do you think the other bow was? GT, I guess. I guess we have a lot of places yeah. open, right? Like Turtle Rock, maybe, as well. Yeah, it can be there. I mean, we haven't seen the back of thieves either. It could be even. Oh yeah, there. that's true. That's true. 
I think it's actually kind of funny. Elsewhere. Yeah, I think it's like kind of funny that we actually never were able to, I guess, see like what the medallion was for Turtle Rock because we didn't have the hammer until so late, and then by that point, like, <laughs> we didn't want to go back to Death Mountain anymore, or we didn't want to keep going. Mm -hmm. so. Gan is almost done moving. Close to... Any moment now? Yeah, any moment. Yeah, we're so close to the Silver Sands. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is right. <laughs> hey, it is Thief's Town. Hey, alright, so can you also give us a hint for the rest of that chain? Like, where the Thief's Town big key is? <laughs> that would be kind of nice to know. Maybe Faker will go compass room after. Yeah, very, very balls. possible. Well, he's also compass trying to kill all these things, so... My guess is he'll probably go right. Or continue left side, I mean. Alright, just a couple more triples on Matt's side, and then we're almost basically to a victory. Too bad the goal sword can't actually speed this phase up. But I guess I can't complain too much because you weren't ever intended, I think, to defeat Ganon without Silvers? Or, or maybe, well, maybe you were? I guess I don't know. But, uh, no. but here we it's, are. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a good chair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, get, get your G's out in chat for Matt798 taking a uh, taking the victory here over Faker Jr. and tying up the series uh, between Motobashin and the perfect unadulterated gaming squad for a 1 1 for, for this week. One nineteen forty-eight. Okay, you know that, that's actually pretty good. I think for what we for where the hammer was, I think that was actually pretty good. Or sorry, what I guess yeah. where the hook shot was, you know, and into the hammer. <laughs> uh well, speaking of, we are joined here by today's victor, Matt seven eight nine eight. How's it going, sir? Hey, GG's. Guys. Hey, GG's, Matt. Yeah, thanks. So, how about how about that hook shot, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, with the specky clip now, like, you never want to check that chest. Because even if it is hammer, you can still get it for free sometimes, right? So it's like, there's no way I'm doing that with all I had. And then when it came down to that, I was like, well, I hope he did it too. And then once it hit like an hour <laughs> seven and he hadn't finished, and I was like, okay, he probably did it too. Mm -hmm. Was there ever like any, I'm trying to think actually, like when you were at Hype Gate first, I guess, or that area, like was there ever consideration going in or was it even possible at that point for you to go in and check no, that first was. pass? Yeah, it was. And there was no consideration, no. I had so much, like I had gotten both the big keys for Pot and Eastern too, right? And I was like, oh, I mean, there could be a bow in one of those dungeons and good things can happen if I go over there. And I hadn't gone up the mountain yet, I just got the flute, I had the whole Meyer area, and it was just like... And with the Specky Clip, I just I just don't ever do it anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's totally fair. Yeah. yeah. It's just such a big time investment. I yeah, especially in a I think like you were... where you, you could get something like a cane, right? And it's just not ever required, right? So like Yeah. 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 But I think like I think last occasion like your progression in first chest of swamp is like you basically never have to feel bad about that because like more than likely your opponent last located it too. Yeah. And there was some I had some weird places left. Like there's that powder sitting on bumper ledge and i was trying to figure out I was like man is there any route that gets that from the first time I was like, probably not so i guess i can go do that i even thought about doing that before ice just to be a little bit safe but i was like ah whatever i might not have to ever beat ice anyway if i go in there yeah i think i actually did end up doing it before ice but that was because he lost his purple chest because he autopiloted to bumbo's tablet with no book and lost his chest <laughs> so he then so, yeah. comboed the bat and purple chest later Voice. Yeah, speaking of Faker Jr. though, we do have a finish time from him of 122.07, so get your G's out in chat for Faker Jr. Um, this was this this was a seed. <laughs> um, so, some, you know, some routing things aside, I think he also did play pretty well. So, good, good, good opening, by the way. I think uh, the escape uh, uncle opening um, seemed to be pretty, you know, pr pretty handy. You got, you got an early lamp. Good thing, good thing you check Lumberjack as well. That's uh, That seemed pretty important. <laughs> Yeah, like the opener felt kind of bad after I saw that moon pearl though. I was like, oh, I could just... But then I was like, oh, but I have the lamp, right? If like they're not comfortable doing it in the dark, then maybe they do Eastern or something trying to put off Hyrule Castle. So I was like, maybe it's a good thing, but... 
Who knows? Would you be comfortable with doing Aga in the dark with no fire rod on this equipment? Um, I don't remember what we had. I probably would have done it poorly and would have saved time just going to Eastern and getting the lamp. But uh, <laughs> I think knowing the moon pearls there, I might, I might do it. It's just so scary doing the pits room on four hearts. I think you had four hearts and temple hearts, so killing stuff wasn't an issue, but. But yeah, the, the hearts are a bit scary. Yeah, and the main setup I have for that involves the cane, which was conveniently on the torch in GT, which was very annoying because <laughs> finding that cane at any point makes the seed so much faster, right? Because I left yeah. swamp and I was like, I, I need either hammer or cane. And one of these things being the cane is way better to find uh, than the hammer. Like after I found the hammer, that's why you saw me check hookshot cave. I was like, because if cane's in hookshot cave, I save minutes, right? So. Yeah, I even tried, thought about like checking the spike chest and ice for it, but I, I wasn't going to go that far. Wait, were you considering doing Permit Ferry after Swamp? No, because that was hammerlocked, right? And like, I still think it's almost no difference to do it from the Pyramid after GT. Although, I think thinking back about it now, it might be correct to always do it, especially since you've beaten Aga. Yeah, my, my uh, thought was, like, it could have the cane, like, it can't have the hammer, but it can have the cane. And, like, once you're done uh, making your last try, uh, or, like, your last, yeah, try for speed, you could just save and quit in the Dark Worlds again. And... Yeah, that was probably a mistake. I didn't really, yeah, I, as I was, like, doing it, I was like, oh, man, I guess it could be the cane, but it's, like, fairly unlikely that it is, but yeah, I think you're right. That was probably a mistake. By the way, things worked out, you know? Yeah. You are the winner, so you did everything, right? That's that's always exactly. a takeaway. Yeah, yeah, no, big GG's. Looks like I should figure Junior. Uh, it's not feeling the best. It seems like there is uh, a terrible disease uh, on the on the rise again. Seems like everybody is down with something. So it doesn't look like we'll be joined with him uh, in voice at least. But yeah, definitely he ran. He ran. He ran a good race. Just uh, <laughs> uh, there were just some, I think, hiccups. Slate Hammer will will do that to you. But yeah, definitely, you know, very nice job, Matt. Uh, this definitely puts your team in a very, I think, a com well, not, well, yeah, pretty good position at least for the league. So we got two more weeks to go, right? Cross keys yeah. and yeah, next week is uh, a pretty important week for us in the cross keys. So that's gonna like if we can beat uh, well, potato, potato couch? Couch? yeah, mm -hmm. if we can beat them twice. I think we can uh, go get ahead of them in the standings. I think that's how it works. And like they're the top team in this division, so it's gonna be uh, a tough matchup for sure. Well, it's really best of luck. Uh, I mean, yeah, and as you did mention, so it's uh, Tam, Broger, and Magno. I mean, yeah, pretty, pretty formidable opponents. I mean, also, I think, division leaders for your for your side. So, yeah, but I mean, you you guys are also really tough. So, <laughs> uh, best True, of luck. So, I don't, like, yeah. like, I made the semifinals of the Cross Keys tournament, but I lost to Brogor in the Swiss, though. <laughs> it's, so, it's like, it's not like... Oh, interesting. Um, okay. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's a great, you know, scenario, right? We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It looks like yeah. It's gonna be yeah. It sounds like it's gonna be you and Andy right running for your team. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I think I believe I saw from the scheduling thread it's gonna be Magnum Broger running uh, opposite. But I guess we're gonna still see. Nothing's finalized yet. Um, so, but yeah, definitely best of luck uh, to to your team moving on in the future. Uh, definitely take you know t take a bit of a breather. You know, you you got the victory for your team this uh, you know th this particular day. So you know, big GGs. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. And thank you for the commentary in the stream and the tracking. Yeah. And Jesus um, and the Taker, I know they didn't join the interview, but um, they've been playing super well lately. I've been very impressed kind of watching them get better at the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a little uh, mini pre SGL, you know. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing everybody in, uh, in a couple weeks uh, in person. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So definitely. Yeah. Big. Yeah. Uh, thank you again, uh, Matt and Baker Junior for for running this. Uh, even Baker Junior was maybe not in the the best of feelings or in terms of health, but really appreciate basically you you know powering through and uh, making this race happen. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Iker, as always. Uh, absolutely like 
on top of everything, knowing, remembering where everything was, <laughs> even we had forgotten everything, a uh, number of items in, in dungeons, um, wherever we at. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you again so much. Uh, awesome tracking as always. Jem, thank you. This was a really fun commentary session. Yeah, likewise. I, I had a blast as always. Um, always a pleasure hopefully, to commentate with you. Yeah, uh, hopefully you're, you're warmed up now for, <laughs> for thinking, you know, in your upcoming race. Uh, we'll just transitions into that immediately because uh, i believe on this channel in about uh, 20 to 30 minutes uh, is actually gem versus t2 for we all should hover every day uh facing off against a begone pot so and uh we'll also be commenting uh we'll also be joined by uh, another co-founder of this mode wall kicks so that should actually be quite the time uh, and then of course later on tonight uh is at least for the imitational league it is jesse versus danny music at 8 40 p.m uh, on Speaking Me Main, and then I think there are actually a couple of open matches. Uh, one is 6 10 p.m. for Coxel versus Moon, uh, and then one at 9 10 p.m. for Mindium versus Bidey. So, uh, but yeah, uh, just uh, you know, take a take a short break, and then we'll be back in uh, in a few minutes. <laughs>